Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to pair any Apple Watch to your iPhone. So the first step is on the iPhone itself, make sure you're running the latest version of iOS. In order to do this, you can open up settings, then find general software update. If you have a new update available, make sure you update to the latest software version. Next, go into settings, tap into Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Without Bluetooth turned on, you cannot pair your Apple Watch to your device. So you can see already I have this message which says Apple Watch, use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. Now if you uh, don't see this message, first of all bring your Apple Watch close to your iPhone and you should see it. If you do not see it, on the Apple Watch itself you just want to make sure you are on this page here which says bring iPhone near Apple Watch. If you you know aren't sure how to get onto this page, just hold the power button for a couple of seconds power off the Apple Watch, then power it back on, and as long as it's not set up, it'll be brought to this page. And so the next step is what you wanna do, is you just want to open up the Watch app. If you don't have the Watch app, maybe you deleted it in the past because this is installed by default, you can always go to the App Store and then download it again. So let's open up the Watch app, and we're gonna tap on Start Pairing, and we're gonna tap on Set Up For Myself, and you're gonna see this area right here. So on the Apple Watch itself, it should show this, um, you know, this, I don't know what you call that, a ball. And so all you do is, you can see I took too long. So if you get this message, just tap on cancel. You just want to bring your Apple Watch under the camera of your iPhone until it's in the frame. And there we go. Now you will see your Apple Watch is pet. So what you can do is if you have a backup of your Apple Watch, you can restore it. Let's say you're upgrading Apple Watch. Uh, but for me, I'm going to tap on set up as new Apple Watch. Then you'll have the wrist preference. So which wrist are you going to put the watch on? Um, me first, I'm going to use the left one. Just tap on continue. Now you're going to see connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. So just give it a couple of seconds. You'll also see on the watch itself, uh, it says please continue setup on iPhone. And you'll also see, you know, this stainless steel. Or if you have an aluminium, it's going to say aluminium. So uh, you don't really need to worry about your watch for the most part. Just take a look at the iPhone itself. Now we see the terms and conditions. Just tap on the agree button. And then you're going to see here, signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. You will see Apple ID, your Apple ID here. I will be centering mine just for privacy. And you'll have the option to enter in your passcode or skip this step. If you do plan on using your Apple Watch properly, I recommend you tap on enter passcode and enter in your passcode. However, for the sake of time, I'm just going to tap on skip this step. You will also see the same for iTunes Store. Again, enter in your passcode. But for me, for the sake of time, I'm just going to tap on skip. Siri, it's up to you whether or not you use Siri or not. I'm just going to tap on don't use Siri. Shared settings, we'll tap on OK. Bold text and size. So on the Apple Watch itself, you'll be able to see the font size you uh, we will be looking at. And you can use the slider to change it around. So I'm just going to use the default one. You can also do uh, set this up later in the Apple Watch app. So let's say you want to change the font size, you can do that later. So we'll just tap on continue. Apple Watch passcode, you can add a passcode if you would like. I'm not going to add a passcode. It's not recommended, but if you, you know don't care, then... Of course, you don't have to set one. Activity, up to you whether or not you want to set this up. I'm just going to tap on skip. Keep your watch up to date. This is up to you. I'm going to install updates manually. Emergency SOS and full protection. We'll just tap on continue. Always on display. Continue. If your Apple Watch doesn't uh, support always on display, you will not see this. Just tap on continue. Install available apps. This is up to you. I'll just select choose later. And then the app view, you can choose whichever one you want. So this is what you'll see on the home screen. The grid view is like you see all these... um circles and then the list view of course is a list you know it's best to just mess around see which one's best i recommend you do uh, select grid view which is uh, selected by default we'll tap on continue and now you'll see apple watch is syncing so on the watch itself it's going to set everything up uh, you don't need to do anything on your end what i recommend you do is you just need to you know use your iphone normally so you don't need to be in the watch app you can close out of it and the Apple uh, Watch will sync with your iPhone. And once it's done, you'll get a, a loud notification from the watch itself. And just like that, you can use your Apple Watch. So if in the future you need to unpay your Apple Watch, there'll be a tutorial you can follow in the description. It's created by me and it's nice and easy to follow and do. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.